Hello again, everybody. This is a quick update on the uh, WikiPoet situation. The screenshot was just sent to me uh, with a big revelation and more proof of uh, that my initial thesis is cor correct, that WikiPoet is um, either a government entity or at least so heavily tied to it um, that you know she has no part of existence in the march or online activism at all. Uh, I'm going to read what I was given and um, ask some of you to look into these people. Uh, hopefully I'll have some other links coming up real soon. Uh, reading from what I was given. Boy, do I have some dirt for you on Op Wiki Poet. Wouldn't it be great uh, if she worked for an organization where the entire board of directors was made of CIA guys? Obviously, you didn't get this info from me, but furthermore, Robert Ames Alden put out first official story on the Kennedy assassination. James Fisher was in charge of logistics for the Secretary of the Navy. Two other board members are known establishment types. It finally all cl clicked. Twaffle, and that's the poet, uh, politically correct uh, wording for twat waffle, a.k.a. wiki poet, uh, anyway, Twaffle says she works for the Justice Integrity Project, which you see highlighted in the screenshot. Um, I knew the name, but couldn't remember why. Sitting on the board of directors is John Kelly. Studied him in school. Why is he so important? Because while there are journalism, uh, while there are lots of people that go from intelligence field to journalism, he went from his position at NBC to go work for the CIA. It is widely suspected because of the access he was given to Soviet directors when he was a reporter that he always uh, was always in paid employee of the CIA. Let me pull some links, but I'm 100% certain she openly admits to working for an organization ran by Intel guys. And that connection um, to Russia in general, you might remember that uh, WikiPoet just went to... Uh, Russian news, I forget the exact, I, the information's out there, but um, she did put out a story about her and, and the anonymous battling uh, in a Russian propaganda machine. So the dots are adding up, folks. This is going to go a lot deeper than just the Million Mask March. There's also a secret group that has been set up to watch all the March pages. People will be hand-selected to keep an eye because Christine Ann Sands is a created uh, persona. It is tied to many other personas, and, and many of you can't think on this sadistic deep level because it's sickening how deep this goes. But there are members of this group that are working to make sure that all activists are protected, all dots are connected, and any sock puppet accounts associated with any federal entity will be destroyed. This is a long-term project, but you can expect more, um, more and more coming out uh, between now and the march, and certainly well after the march. Much love, many thanks for all your information, and remember if you do send me anything, whether it's on the social networks or through my email, you will remain anonymous if you ask to be. Much love, see you soon.